Africa is a region with a long and glorious history with hundreds of distinct cultures and traditions. From the Egyptians to the Zulus, each culture has produced some of the greatest warriors and most powerful leaders in the world. Join me until the end of the video to meet some of the most fascinating figures in African history. My name is Francisca and welcome to the Myths and Curiosities channel. Ah, enjoy if you like the content, leave your like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any notifications. No list of legendary African rulers would be complete without at least one Egyptian pharaoh, and while many pharaohs have faded into obscurity over the thousands of years since they ruled, very few have left their mark. 1. Hatshepsut Hatshepsut was the only daughter of Pharaoh Thutmose I and his primary wife, and she was married to Thutmose II, a half-brother of a secondary wife. As queen consort, she has already assumed many of the roles of pharaoh, but after her husband's death, she formally adopted the title in 1478 BC. She was well-educated, understood the religion of her people, and as a daughter, sister and wife of kings, she had an undeniable blood right to the position. She was easily able to use these things to her advantage, becoming widely accepted by Egyptologists today as one of the most successful pharaohs. She established important trade routes, completed many significant building projects, and is remembered on monuments as a great pharaoh. Additionally, she is the first known woman to have significant power. 2. The Queen of Sheba Most people have come across the phrase who does she think she is, the Queen of Sheba, at some point, but was there ever a true Queen of Sheba? Probably yes, since she is a well-documented historical figure in the Bible. The remains of a large stone palace at Aksum, which is in present-day Ethiopia, are believed to have been the home of the Queen of Sheba. There is no surviving record of what her real name was, but in North Africa today, no one questions whether or not she was real. She is considered by Ethiopians to be the mother of their nation and the founder of a dynasty that only died with the last descendant, Haile Selassie, in 1975. She was reportedly extremely wealthy and archaeological excavations at Aksum in 2012 uncovered evidence of a massive ancient gold mine that would have been a very legitimate and abundant source of wealth for the queen. Further excavations in 2015 uncovered two female skeletons, both buried in royal style with extremely valuable jewelry. This tangible evidence that the legend may be real is further supported by the fact that 90% of Aksum has not been excavated. 3. Izana of Aksum Izana of Aksum ruled the kingdom of Aksum in the 4th century CE. The kingdom was vast and covered present-day northern Ethiopia, Yemen, some parts of southern Saudi Arabia, northern Somalia, Djibouti, Eritrea and some regions of Sudan. He inherited the role from his father, who died when Izana was still a child. He is notable for being the first king of Aksum to convert to Christianity. He was a kind ruler and he cared deeply about the happiness of his people. He was a monument builder, erecting several obelisks and stele during his reign. Despite this, he is best remembered today for his Christian faith and is considered a saint by the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahado Church. For Dot Mansa Kankan Musa, the richest African warrior. Musa, I was the 10th Mansa, Sultan or King, of Mali. His reign was between 1312 and 1337 AD. He was an extremely powerful leader and under his leadership Mali managed to conquer 24 cities. He had many nicknames and titles, including the Lion of Mali and Conqueror of Ganada. One of his nicknames, Lord of the Mines of Wangara, is due to the fact that he is in control of all the gold mines there. This contributed to his being exceptionally wealthy, his contemporaries described him as inconceivably wealthy. Both Time and the BBC have commented on his wealth from a modern point of view, with the latter declaring him the richest man of all time. 5. Tunkamainen Tunkamainen was the Jaina ruler of Wagadu from 1037 to 1075 AD. He was described in contemporary accounts as a lover of justice and personally resolved many disputes within his empire. He became known for his involvement in communities and the fact that he greatly boosted the empire's economy. He was able to further cultivate his public image by projecting an air of magic and mysticism. Unfortunately, Tunkamainen was the last ruler of Wagadu, as the empire fell due to several factors, including disputes over the region's conversion to Islam. 
Six Dot Warrior Queen Amina Amina, or Aminatu, was a warrior queen from the Emirate of Zaria, which is present-day Nigeria. She is the subject of many legends and ruled sometime in the 15th century, although the dates are uncertain. She conquered many cities and ruled for 34 years. She was a legendary and eager warrior, and as a child her grandmother found her wielding a dagger with the agility of any warrior. Like many other regents, she refused to marry lest she risk losing any authority. One of her less fearsome legacies is that she introduced the cultivation of kola nuts into her realm. 7. Uwer the Great Uwer, I was the king of the Benin Empire in the second half of the 15th century AD. His rise to power was violent and bloody, and the result of a violent coup against his own brother that destroyed much of the Benin capital. Despite the violent start of his reign, Uwer earned the title of the Great by rebuilding much of the city of Benin, reforming political structures, becoming a patron of the arts and expanding the territory of the empire. He increased and expanded trade with other nations, which helped him to foster the arts, and it is because of him that ivory and wood carving became more popular. He was an indisputably real historical figure, but he was such a powerful man that many believed he possessed magical powers, which is attested to in much of the artwork of the time. An annual festival called the Igu Festival was originally held to renew its magical powers, but it is still celebrated in Benin to this day. 8. Shaka Zulu Even today people know that the Zulu warriors were exceptionally skilled in combat. The military innovations adopted by Shaka Zulu helped to cultivate their warrior culture and fearsome reputation. But Shaka did not always resort to war, he was a skilled diplomat and was often able to negotiate with his opponents. At the height of his 10-year reign, Shaka ruled over 250,000 people and commanded over 50,000 warriors. Shaka's rule was interrupted when he was murdered in his 40s by his own brothers, and today the Zulu people see him as a heroic leader for his clear abilities as a king and a despot due to the large number of people who were killed by him. His Order 9. Setshweo Compand Shaka may be the most well-known Zulu, but he's not the only legendary Zulu king. Setshweo Compand was leader of the Zulu kingdom during a period of great turmoil in the region. The British were invading Africa using excessive force. Setshweo refused to give up, sending 20,000 Zulu warriors with their traditional spears and leather shields to fight the British troops armed with rifles, mountain cannons, and an early type of rocket. Under Setshweo's command, the Zulu warriors wiped out almost all of the poorly organized British troops, losing only about 1,000 soldiers. The decisive Zulu victory was the biggest defeat the British had ever suffered against Indian tribes with more primitive weaponry, but instead of negotiating peace as Setshweo had hoped, they took a much more aggressive approach, sending in a second wave of heavily reinforced troops. Setshweo died around age 60 of an alleged heart attack, but some theorized that he was poisoned by a rival. 10. The King Shark Behanzen, Behanzen, Hasubawel, which translates to the egg of the world or the son of the shark, became known colloquially as the king shark and was arguably the most powerful ruler of West Africa in the late 19th century. He commanded a mighty army served by 150,000 men and 5,000 infamous Amazons and was seen as a brave and wise ruler by his people, but as the French were trying to take over his kingdom, he fell victim to much propaganda. He was portrayed as a vicious man who ruled over wildlings. An example of this propaganda is the tale of an Amazon warrior who killed a French soldier by ripping out his throat with her teeth, the French left out the part where she was forced to resort to this when she ran out of ammo in battle and was in a predicament of life or death against the head of French military intelligence. Despite his fierce army and wisdom, Behanzen was defeated by the French who had much more advanced weapons and greater numbers of units and served the rest of his life in exile. The countries and cultures that make up Africa have produced some of the most legendary and powerful figures for thousands of years. Although many of the cultures, such as the ancient Egyptian dynasties and the Sabine culture of Saba, have been lost to time, the people who ruled them live on in folklore and legends, and many of them are still celebrated for their bravery and achievements today. What did you think of this story? Tell me below in the comments. For you who have followed us so far, thank you for your company, and remember to leave your like, and of course to share our content so that other people have access. Bye and see you soon.